Master Gardener, have you ever wondered what makes vines twist? You know, you might notice they often twist to the right, or maybe you've noticed they twist to the left. What makes them twist? Is it the Coriolis effect, which is what people do when they go to the southern hemis hemisphere and flush a toilet or wash in the sink and see which way the water swirls? Is that the effect that makes a vine turn certain directions? Well, come to find out, it has nothing to do with any of that. It has to do with the genetics of the plant. So in my hand, I have two different binding plants. So bittersweet is the number one vine that I see around here. And we're going to look at this big bittersweet in the, in the picture. You can see it twining around here. It's one that's counterclockwise. So you look at the vine and kind of just check the direction. It's going to its left. And when it's going to the left, that's the opposite of the clock. So we call that counterclockwise. And then if you look at a plant like a honeysuckle, this honeysuckle is climbing up a stem. And I know you can't see it up close very easily but it happens to be turning to the right which means clockwise and what makes them turn in the direction they're going it has to do with the genetics of the plant within the family of wisteria some of them turn to the left and some of them turn to the right and they say that some plants can even switch when they begin to interface with different types of branches and things they may switch and change their direction so wow throw away all that uh, concept of is it in the northern hemisphere or is it in the southern? That has nothing to do with which, which way the vine twines. And then my other big question is, how does a vine hold on to a tree? How did it get up here? And I can remember in college the professor asking that same question. How did that vine get so high up in the tree and yet it's not attached down here on the lower trunk? Do you know the answer to that? These vines started when this tree was a juvenile. Since the tree's grown up, it's lost its side branches and it sheds them. Natural process. And this vine was attached to those side branches when it was a young tree and short, and then it was able to hold on. And now as it's gotten older, it's caught up into the branches at the top. And that's how it's holding on to this crazy big tree. And this happens to be, uh, um, um, bittersweet vine, oriental bittersweet, which is one of our big invasives. So there you go. The direction they turn has nothing to do with what hemisphere it's in. It just has to do with their genetics.